Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more ideas and opinions of Albert Einstein. Today we're going to be reading a piece called About Education. Oh, the section is about education, but the piece is called The University Courses at Davos. Of course, Davos, Switzerland. In 1928, Einstein participated in the international university courses conducted at Davos, famous Swiss resort for tubercular patients. This address preceded his lecture, Fundamental Concepts in Physics and Their Development, published in Mein Weltbild. Amsterdam, Querido Verlag, 1934. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. Senatores Bonivari Sinitus Autum Bestia. So, a friend of mine. A Swiss professor once wrote in his facetious way to a university faculty which had annoyed him. Communities tend to be guided less than individuals by conscience and a sense of responsibility. How much misery does this fact cause mankind? It is the source of wars and every kind of oppression, which fill the earth with pain, sighs, and bitterness. And yes, nothing truly valuable can be achieved except by the disinterested cooperation of many individuals. Hence, the man of good will never is never happier than when some communal enterprise is afoot and is launched at the cost of heavy sacrifices with the single object of promoting life and culture. Such pure joy was mine when I heard about the university courses at Davos. I worked a work of rescue is being carried out there with intelligence and a wise moderation which is based on a grave need though it may not be a need that is immediately obvious to everyone. Many a young man goes to this valley with his hopes fixed upon the healing power of its sunny mountains and regains his bodily health and thus but thus withdrawn for long periods from the will hardening discipline of normal work and a prey to morbid reflection in his physical condition he easily loses his mental resilience the sense of being able to hold his own in the struggle for existence. He becomes a sort of non of hothouse plant, and when his body is cured, often finds it difficult to get back to normal life. This is in particular true for university students. Interruption of intellectual training in the formative period of youth is very apt to leave a gap which can hardly be filled later. Yet, as a general rule, intellectual work in moderation so far from retarding cure indirectly helps it forward, just as moderate physical work will.
it is with this realization that the university courses are being instituted for the purpose not merely of preparing these young people for a profession, but of stimulating them to intellectual activity as such. They are to provide work, training, and hygiene in the sphere of the mind. Let us not forget that this enterprise is admirably suited to establish relations between individuals of difficult, different nationalities, relations which help to strengthen the idea of European community. The effects of this new institution in this, in this direction are likely to be all the more advantageous as a result of the fact that the circumstances of its birth rule out every sort of political purpose. The best way to serve the cause of internationalism is by cooperating in some life-giving work. For all these reasons, I rejoice that though the energy and in intelligence of the founders, the university courses at Davos have already attracted such a measure of success that the enterprise has outgrown the troubles of infancy. May it prosper, enriching the li inner lives of numbers of valuable human beings and rescuing many from the poverty of sanatorium life. So yeah. Einstein talking about how he feels the university at Davos in Switzerland is a good thing, helping strengthen many a uh, person intellectually. Um, and he mentions even, you know, if you work to strengthen yourself intellectually, it's good, just as it is to strengthen yourself physically. You know, exert some physical work, it can help build who you are as a person. The same, he says, can be done mentally, and he really likes the fact that it helps produce these more intelligent, these thinking groups of the students, and it even helps uh, the relationships between nations and people. Because the uh, college is more than just Swiss. So yeah, at least that's how I see it. That was just a short one. Um, but that's going to be all we have for now. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.